Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. <coughs> Our channel? <laughs> I thought you were, like, you were clearing your throat. I was like no. thinking I needed to start over. At this over point, it. I think everyone knows it is our channel. I mean, we're in Texas, community property state, so what's yours is mine. So it's our channel. I'm just going to disagree and we're going to move on. So today we're going to be unboxing day 12 of Jenny's countdown to Christmas. Okay, I feel like until you're at least at half of the work that it's still my channel i guess i couldn't just move on sorry i had to okay so we're on day 12 and i don't think it's a hockey puck but i guess we're going to take a look and see it is a hockey puck and for the record chris at so it so the distance so the distance you're so close uh, yeah it's a lot of so uh, it is a lot. <laughs> She is a quilting expert, and she's letting me know. Well, you know, she's definitely a quilting expert, and she has told me that if it is a thread dome, which is what she believes it is, that's basically the same thing as a hockey puck, except that it's domed and it's used for quilting and you can put things in it. But because she said it's essentially the same thing, if this is a thread dome, I still win. I think she was just being nice. Well, you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Let's see what it is. But oh, also, I did watch Chris's unboxing for day eleven, and not that you did a great job. It was a good job. But if you if you want any more info on, it was it was good. Thank you. <laughs> if you want any more info on the thread and everything that was in there, like the tone on tone fabric, <laughs> then you can go take you can go take a look at her video. Hers was much more technical than mine. But you did a that. good job. Well, thanks. There were cursy words, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, I'm sorry, you guys. Let's open up day 12 and see if it's a hockey puck. Okay. <laughs> you're, I, you're, like, you're so close to it. It's a hockey puck. Show it. Hockey puck! I don't even... Dome threaded needle case. Yeah, it looks like a hockey puck. And I bet you if I put some black paint on that and maybe some duct tape to make sure it didn't break, I could use that on the rink. I have I have literally never seen this. I have no idea what it what it is. A dome threaded needle case. I was thinking it was like a magnetic thing that you stick needles and stuff on, but it says neatly stores away threaded needles i have no idea so how to use this chris have, is gonna have to teach me how to use this then. so it looks like you can have needles that are threaded that you can keep in there which is a little bit weird but on the bright side it is actually a quilting accoutrement so yeah. it is something that a quilter might actually use even though i have no the, idea what it is the professed <laughs> quilting expert doesn't even know what it is i don't know i'm gonna look a little closer because that's weird it's a nice shade of blue. Yeah. Michigan colors or no? No, oh, no. The yellow's off. It's not amazing. Well, I mean the... It's dark enough to be Michigan. I have no idea how to use this. Does it have instructions? It does. Sorry, you won't see this because I'm taking it off screen, but let's see what it says. Oh, there's instructions there. That looks like a lot of... Okay. Well, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm not going to read it. <laughs> I have little to no interest in, in how to use it. It's not my domain. I just, I don't understand. I don't, I, I mean, I'm, I, I will use it probably, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea what it is. Chris probably knows. So after you watch my video, if you haven't watched hers, you can go see what she says to do with it. Um, okay. So let's look at day 13. What do you think it is? Uh, oh, hold on. There's lots of different, oh, okay. Um, so there's definitely some sort of writing utensil, maybe? Oh, you know what? They can't see what you're doing Oh, anymore. sorry. Here. <laughs> there. Okay, so right here, it, honestly, what it feels like are uh, knitting needles. Really? Well, I don't... No, well, that's what it, It's either that or a very long pencil. <laughs> or two pencils next to each other. It feels like knitting needles. That would be a really weird thing to see in a quilt. Um, box, but you also got like embroidery stuff. Which and did you see last year when stuff. we got flat Jenny for yarn? Oh. <laughs> Let me see that so they can see. This is what my wife is referring to. This is obviously a great quilting thing. <laughs> um, so I, I don't know. To me, it feels like 
at least what's running diagonally here feels like knitting needles. There's a circle over here, so I'm going to say that that's finger balm, because you always need to make sure your fingers look good. Uh, and uh, this, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going knitting needles for sure. That's my guess. Yeah, it's it's weird. There's like a lot of different stuff in here, so I don't know. Mini hockey pucks. <laughs> Mini hockey pucks. <laughs> it could be. I don't know. That's well, we'll find out tomorrow, but I do want to share one more thing. So the last two days we have been going to different antique shops and I forced him to go back today because I couldn't shake some of the things I saw from my brain. I really needed to go back and get them. So he humored me and took me all the way back over there to the antique shops. And I got some great stuff that I'm going to be sharing with you guys in January. Uh, I have a lot of fun plans for them. And you may have seen a peek at an antique quilt in there. I am not an expert at, at antique quilts at all, but I do have a really good friend, Chris from So The Distance, who is. So we might be doing a collab with that antique quilt in January or maybe later. So don't get upset if you don't see it right in January because <laughs> things come up. But I think you guys will be excited about it. So I will give updates when we know when we might be able to get that collab done. So keep a lookout for it. So be sure to stop back by tomorrow. I don't know, will you be with me? You kind no, of have work. work. <laughs> this, is, this is like the one weekend I've not had to work all year. So. You have been working though. Well, okay, that's so that's true. I have been working all So week. it'll just be me, but I will let him know if he is right on mini hockey pucks or knitting needles or bomb. What else did it's, you say? Well, a finger bomb, but I was just mm -hmm. saying that in a joking manner. Oh, Although it's, I... if it's finger bomb, I'm not. <laughs> It's going to be amazing. <laughs> All right. So be sure to come back tomorrow for day 13 and see what it is. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for coming to our channel. <laughs>